Well, good afternoon. Um, I have this difficult task to close this session after Beirão. It's not an easy job, but I will try to, to make it easy. And uh, I will start by introducing the, um, the presentation. This is a presentation that, in a way, explains or uh, not explains, but uh, tells a little bit about my track on the um, municipal of, uh, municipality of Matosinhos. It's, um, it's um, I think I have it here. It's a city right in the north of Porto. And um, it's, um, it's an experience that I'm having since um, one year and a half. And um, uh, in a way, um, um, expresses um, the, um, one of the questions that it was uh, put yesterday about the role of a PhD person on a municipality, for instance, or the role of a PhD person on an industry or in a company, etc. So, um, just to give a little framework of my track, uh, I had an academic career until, 19, until 2016, since 2017. I share my academic career with a municipality career. I started in the municipality of Oporto, and then I moved to uh, municipality of Matosinhos. I have a one year and a half still period of job there. Maybe I continue there or not. I'm not sure yet. Um, but well, because it's a, it's a three year um, uh, working commission, so I don't know if they will renovate or not. But um, in a way, this experience of uh, having, this opportunity of having this experience in a professional environment gave me the opportunity to um, try to understand what could I contribute to this professional body, to this uh, local administration professional body. And um, as you can imagine, I'm not dealing, my team is, they are not researchers, they are not professors, they are not, uh, they are technicians. They are architects. Um, I have um, an economist. I had a civil engineer, I have a landscape architect, and I have uh, informatic people. I don't have uh, any other PhD on my team. Um, but I thought that this was an opportunity for me to bring something that it was from my past and still present, and try to understand how could I um, uh, introduce this, uh, some of these formal um, methods uh, within the planning division. Um, for that, I had the um, lucky um, um, starting point of having um, um, a chief, uh, my director, who gave me the space and the conditions to introduce some of, some of these things. And, and, and the, the first challenge he gave to me was, well, you have a planning division to lead. Tell me what you want to do about it. These are my goals. These are my perspectives on the, on the things that I would like to achieve within the department. Uh, so let me know about your ideas regarding what you can bring to us. And uh, um, <clears throat> my first step was to uh, organize the division in terms of uh, how data and uh, digital tools and technological development could be framed within the work that my team already did before I arrived one year and a half ago. I have mostly the same team, um, maybe two or three new people. 
um, but they are doing uh, new things and they are experimenting and they are trying and exploring uh, new approaches, new tools, and um, in a way trying to understand uh, how they can improve their own work and by doing that, the work of the division or the planning division, using some of these uh, approaches. Um, Regarding this um, challenge that I had, um, the idea is not only to improve the um, uh, work within the division, but also to better support the decision of the political executive and, most of all, to uh, short and to boost the dialogue between the municipality and the people living and working in Matosinhos. And, um, this is a little bit of the narrative that I have for you today in this presentation. Um, regarding that scheme that you have there, the DPU is the, the planning, the urban planning division where, uh, where I'm focused on. And um, when I started, the, my director told me that one of his goals was to, uh, within the division, have two um, sub uh, sections. One would be a kind of a lab, a laboratory of um, planning, and the other one was a kind of a observatory of the municipality. The obser observatory of the municipality is something that we need to assess the master plan of the Matuzinhos that in two, every two years we have to report to the, um, um, to the governmental authority, territorial government authority regarding the way the, the master plan is, is evolving or not. Uh, so this idea of the observatory is to systemize and to um, structure uh, data and information that then will um, uh, uh, feed those kind of uh, those reports. And the laboratory, the laboratory was the the lab was the um, is the, the the framework for this sort of explorations that we will uh, see through the presentation. Um, and we are uh, articulated with the mobility division, that's the DMT, and with the um, GIS um, um, uh, services that we have uh, in the division and in the uh, specific um, uh, department uh, within the municipality. Uh, so it was this kind of triangulation between all of these um, uh, goals and challenges and, uh, and opportunities that I tried to assemble this very dynamic and very uh, flexible and, and, and non-linear um, uh, organization of the, of the division. Um, one of the... Um, one of the experience, one of the um, things that was already going on on the vision before I arrived was the GIS uh, approach, of course, because the master plan of Matuzini was revisited uh, in 2019, and they used a lot of GIS-based um, um, approaches um, to uh, do that. So in terms of GIS, I um, didn't brought anything uh, particularly new because they, they already uh, did it. The, the thing that, what I introduced there was the articulation of GIS and data from um, their own experience with other tools that we could um, uh, start to correlate. So, uh, regarding the, the, the GIS, um, uh, I also, um, um, in a way, um, told the team to, re to, 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 to invert the, the way uh, GIS is, uh, is, uh, was considered, not as the end point of the planning process, but the starting point of the planning process. And this means that we use data to do that. This means that we don't, Design the project in a sheet, and then someone put the the the, the, pro, the, the, the plan that was designed in the sheet in the GIS uh, workflow. Um, the challenge was no. Let's start to think about the planning process from as a as a starting point, having as a starting point the the, the data and the, the and the and the and the GIS um, um, uh, process. So. Um, 
And this was useful for um, the revision of the master plan, where I wasn't part of the team, but later on to start to use some uh, information, some data gathered to do that uh, with some uh, further steps that I will show you uh, next. Um, in terms of the, the, the GIS um, um, starting point, some of the, some of the new uh, territorial law, the Portuguese new territorial law was uh, already here. For instance, the, um, the need to not to expand uh, uh, urban land. Uh, we, we, the new uh, territorial law in Portugal says that we need to consolidate and, and, and fill the gaps that we have within the urban tissue and not to promote new urban areas, for instance. So stuff, um, issues like these were um, translated and expressed in these kind of, of maps using um, uh, GIS to uh, express and to translate existing situation and future situation. Um, a lot of um, um, data that was uh, um, also used to um, check uh, densities and types of urban uh, developments for central areas, uh, try to understand the best um, uh, possibilities, the best options to uh, follow uh, with the transformation of the city. Um, the simulation of growth perspectives uh, concerning central areas also. Why central areas? Because it's where where the, 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 the most amount of, of buildings and the, the, the urban tissue is more uh, dense. Uh, and and uh, another thing that uh, we try to now um, have in a very um, articulated way, uh, either uh, information in uh, tables, in Excel, but also information and data uh, in space, so we are uh, um, investing in uh, um, specializing data. We need to have data in space, not only data in uh, Excel sheets or uh, graphics or whatever. So we are uh, trying to have data on uh, maps. Why? Because this will be important for the dashboard that I will show you uh, in the end of the presentation. Um, and this, this uh, work is uh, being done in different uh, fronts, uh, uh, urban tissues, um, a green, um, the, the, the offer of green spaces uh, to understand where they, where they exist, where they are lacking, the articulation of green spaces with collective uh, equipments, with infrastructure, uh, with services, et cetera, et cetera. So, one of the things that we are trying to do with the, uh, by formalizing uh, our work is to correlate themes, not to have these themes in uh, very uh, own um, uh, boxes, equipments in a box, service in a box, buildings in a box. Uh, so we are trying to correlate uh, data and information in terms to have a more um, uh, articulated perspective and uh, knowledge on the territory. Um, then I introduce uh, space syntax in the um, in the division. Uh, one of the job, one of the work that we are doing is to, in articulation with the urban management, is to uh, measuring all the uh, building permits, the rehabilitation permits, the um, uh, refurbishment permits, the demolishing permits that uh, people are asking to the municipality. So we allocate all of those permits to a specific uh, space where it is happening because we have an address for each of those permits and try to understand for each street the dynamics uh, that is occurring in that street. If it is a rehabilitation dynamic, if it is a new building dynamic, if it is a uh, demolishing uh, dynamic, what kind of um, uh, urban dynamic is occurring for each street. And then we are articulating that with configurational readings because, for instance, it is, it, it, it is interesting to understand if um, new buildings dynamics is occurring in a, a street with uh, high levels of uh, integration or connectivity choice or whatever. So this is a, comp um, a comparative study that we are doing between what we are gathering data, the data that we are gathering for, from um, our, um, urban management uh, division, that is not the planning division, it's the division where people goes to deliver the project to be approved and to have the permits. 
and we are working with them in order to uh, systemize and um, gather the, those inf those the, those data uh, that data in a, in a, in a GIS uh, workflow and then combine it with uh, with the space syntax uh, readings of the of the territory. Um, the other um, um, perspective that we are also developing is these um, buffer map maps with uh, uh, data and GIS regarding new, uh, for instance, new lines for metro bus uh, that we are thinking about, or metro stations, for instance, or metro lines, for instance, also to understand the variation of population that will be um, um, achieved with this new uh, uh, metro. We are doing this work uh, alongside with the metro uh, company. Uh, they, uh, they only decide from uh, the implementation of new metro lines if they have the right number of people uh, wanting to have a uh, uh, um, uh, metro station there. Um, then we have another um, figure in the master plan that it's uh, this AUDAC, uh, this, this available urban areas to be consolidated, that has something to do, has a lot to do with that idea that new territorial, the, the Portuguese new territorial law says about the need not to expand urban um, tissues but to consolidate the voids and to fill the gaps be, within the urban tissues. We have 160 AUDACs that are spread all over the, the municipality. And then we are trying to understand the. Uh, we are trying to pre, uh, to, to to create pr priorities uh, regarding these 106 outdacks in order to understand each each one is going to be the first to be developed uh, by the municipality because some of them will be developed by the 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 the, 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 the owners of the uh, terrains within this uh, outdacks. So we are here merging. Um, uh, um, uh, uh, measuring uh, um, resident population and the uh, AUDAC uh, delimitation uh, to check where uh, we should start regarding these 106 AUDACs. Uh, the AUDAC is, is developed like this. We have a um, uh, proposal for um, uh, the, the, the green um, shade is a uh, 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 green spaces, the, 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 um, the red one or the rose one is uh, for equipment and the blue one is areas for uh, buildings. So uh, we are doing this and then we put this all together in a, a GIS uh, uh, workflow in order to understand the, to measure the amount of streets that we are uh, in, um, increasing to the municipality, the amount of green areas that we are putting uh, in the municipality, the amount of new um, equipment areas that we are bringing to the municipality through these um, AUDAC uh, interventions. Um, the, other, the other approach within this, um, uh, oh, we call this a soup, a soup is a uh, preliminary uh, urban solution, uh, and uh, we also are using VGA um, 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 approaches to check and to compare um, um, preliminary urban solutions. If, uh, uh, if we do do it like this or we do like that, um, we are not. I'm not talking about in this presentation anything new regarding this form of methods. What I'm talking about is the implementation of these formal methods in a professional environment and most of all the uh, articulation of these formal methods to, to give us, those who have to think about the territory, a more structured and systemized um, view of the territory to remove the reading of the territory based on I think it is like this and I'm going to argue with uh, my director and, and he think it is like that and we don't we don't stop discussing because he thinks like that I think like this so what we are trying to do is to discuss the territory based on facts based on uh, indicators based on things that we can demonstrate that we can bring we can put explicitly on, on the on the top of the table and then go to the president lady mayor and say look this is like this the 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 scenarios are like this now you can choose but you can choose based on facts and not based on what I think it is, what you think it is, what she think it is. So it's a, it's, it's a way to 
uh, bring more um, uh, a decision, a more uh, structured body to the to the decision and to the moment of the of the decision. Um, this is uh, something that we are doing also with the preliminary urban uh, solutions. We are using VGA to decide where to put um, uh, some uh, um, uh, interface. For instance, this here we were deciding where to put the exit of the metro station. This is a new plan that we are doing. All of this is a new plan with a huge park, with the water, with equipment. And we have a metro line here. And uh, the metro, the Porto Metro Company uh, suggests to put um, a metro um, a tunnel here. And um, we were check, we use VGA to understand the effect of the entrance, of, because the metro is on surface, and then it enters in the tunnel here and goes out here. Um, we were using VGA to understand the effect of this, because we want this to be a, a commercial area, and then uh, we were checking the implication of this element here. Uh, and this is the alternative um, uh, proposal without the entrance for the tunnel here. We move the entrance of the tunnel uh, further north to uh, understand what kind of effect. So these formal methods, these approaches, yeah, uh, they, they are being used to support decision, to support analysis, and to um, uh, to, 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 to allow the, the, executive, the political executive body to have more informed decisions. So this is the, the same, the, the other sort of uh, analysis <coughs> with VGA, with visibility and flows uh, dynamics. Um, we are also comparing the, the, the work that we are doing in GIS uh, regarding AUDAX with um, with the uh, green spaces availability uh, and uh, try to understand. Because in Audax, uh, the owners of the trains within the Audax, they, by law, uh, by uh, plan regulation, they should give to the, uh, to the municipality part of the train to green areas and to equipment. So it is for us to decide the, what, what is going to be used for green areas and for equipment from those parts of the terrain that we are going to, to have for, for the municipality. So it is not um, uh, logical if we demand the same sort of green spaces or the same sort of equipment uh, in every uh, Audax. So we are trying to understand, to have a critical perspective on this, and then to measuring all the um, green areas and uh, the equipment areas that we are creating with this uh, Audax. Um, this is also the relationship between another um, space index um, approach with the uh, um, with the land use and the Audac distribution and with the main infrastructure serving the the regional uh, road infrastructure serving the the municipality. Uh, this is uh, space syntax uh, reading to understand the centralities of Matuzinhos and the relationship between them. This is Porto. This Matuzinhos is here. This is Porto. The um, axial map of Porto was uh, kindly <coughs> offered to me by Vitor Oliveira, a friend of mine that will be tomorrow here with Claudia to present uh, their communication. Um, we use um, space syntax also to compare to density analysis, population density analysis, um, and um, also using kernel maps to uh, understand relation between um, uh, population density and the distribution of uh, construct permits. This is uh, something very important for us in order to um, understand um, pressure areas. Uh, we have a um, problem with some um, areas that people, they don't do anything with their terrains, with their plots, because they are in a speculative position. They are holding the plots for um, the better price for the market. So we are trying to define um, uh, urban pressure areas in order to increase the taxes that the owners of the plots will be paying in the future if they don't do anything with the plots, if they don't uh, put in the market or they don't build or whatever. 
so this is in a way a kind of uh, strategy to control the, um, the, the, the speculative prices of plots and buildings in the, in the, uh, in the market. Um, this is a relation between using data GIS kernel maps and um, building density in the municipality, the distribution of the Audax and the uh, transportation offer in the, in the municipality. And one of the results that we are getting from this analysis is, is that the municipality has a, 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 a relatively asymmetric um, um, uh, organization. The southern part of the municipality is much more um, infrastructure and, and, and equipped, and the north part, because it's a more rural rural one, is 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 not that uh, developed yet. Um, this is um, a relationship between housing density, buffers, and metro stations availability. You can see here that the metro stations are in the southern part of the territory, not in the, in the north. That's why we are thinking about a metro bus uh, to uh, extend the uh, public transport to the north. And all of this uh, is going to be, is being prepared, sorry, <coughs> to be available for the, um, for be publicly available in this geo portal of the city that is already online. And uh, um, the, um, the, uh, any, any person can go there and check uh, um, uh, one of these uh, uh, um, interfaces uh, where you, you can find the cartography, urbanism, uh, and, and the emission of, of plants. In the future, will be a fourth one with this sort of analysis in, in terms to um, uh, put available to everyone the uh, conclusions, the results, the analysis that we are doing and with that we are uh, making uh, in a, system, a systemized way in order to people to have access to this um, analysis and the results of this analysis also for, for them to be able to participate in the discussion, to be aware of what we are doing also, to the transparency of the process and to be part of the process also. And uh, for that, we are also developing uh, a dashboard. In these dashboards, all of this information will be organized by um, themes. This is an ODAC, uh, this is a ODAC uh, um, uh, uh, sheet uh, where people uh, can, and uh, people and the executive body, the political executive body, and ourselves as the division, uh, we'll have access to the uh, quantify, quantify the information that we are producing in terms of the Audax that are being developed, the, those that are still to start, what uh, the sort of amount of uh, building, uh, buildings that we are uh, increasing in the municipality streets, uh, equipment, green areas, etc. Everything that I told. This will be interactive. These are menus that people uh, and, and us uh, will be able to uh, manipulate in order to obtain the sort of information that we want. Not, not all the information that we will be, uh, uh, that will be available for us will be av available for the public. We will try to understand what sort of information we can uh, put publicly because there are information that we cannot put uh, in public due to different reasons. But the, the, the idea of this dashboard is to uh, help the political executive body to have uh, access in real time to what we are doing and any uh, time that they will ne they need to have a decision they can uh, go to this dashboard and uh, understand the uh, state of the art regarding a certain issue it's for us a, a way of a self self assessment that we can have uh, a notion of what we are doing and, and the steps that we are taking towards whatever. And for the public, for the people living and working in Matosinhos to uh, be, uh, be able to, um, uh, to participate and to, be, uh, to have the knowledge of this uh, information and this data. And in the future to, <coughs> to use this also as a way to directly dialogue with us, the division, uh, and to put um, their questions, their uh, intentions, to put their um, uh, own opinions, and for us to invite them to be part of this by contributing and putting their uh, observations and their contributions, etc. <coughs> um, 
Uh, regarding, and just to close, regarding the uh, um, next formal challenges to the, on the agenda, uh, I would like to <coughs> go uh, on these seven tracks. Uh, we, are, we are now working on uh, the introduction of statistic analysis on the division. We didn't have that. I'm working with an economist um, collaborator in, to, in order to introduce statistic analysis. Um, I have another uh, collaborator working in the uh, Giorgio plugin to um, uh, GIS uh, Space Syntax, the Space Syntax to GIS. I have uh, already talked to Franklin to introduce DefMap 3D on the division, and I hope I will, he will do it soon, but he has a very difficult agenda and he's always telling me, ah, one of these days. Um, I will also try to introduce tracking methodology. That's a methodology that I developed within my postdoctoral research using space index and um, and the mobile. Uh, I also have one of my collaborators to have to studying space matrix from at the Beckhauser regarding densities because we are working with densities, and we have also talked already talked with Federico Samora regarding his uh, methodology on algorithm uh, land um, uh, he use a algorithm to analyze the um, infrastructure the road infrastructure and the ability to uh, support more buildings or not and uh, um, I already spoke to Beirão about the city information modeling that I would also like to have as uh, something to explore there, but it's something that we, we are working on it. So this is um, what I'm trying to do in terms of uh, formal methods in the municipal plan, urban planning. As I told you, we are not inventing any of, of these. I'm not introducing new knowledge. I'm just trying to understand how these things that are usually on the research centers can be brought uh, to the um, uh, municipality environment, working environment. And the main idea is this one where I want, which I want to, to, to close this presentation, is to be able to um, consolidate this idea of a collective construction of the built environments of the municipality. And if I reach this, I will be very, very happy. So I hope you have questions and uh, thank you.